My name is Bree Ryder. I'm a former Marine. I'm a licensed clinical social worker. I treated the victims of trafficking for more than a decade, and Tim knew he could manipulate that. I came to OUR because I thought, what if I could intervene before someone ended up broken forever? Before they had to suffer this kind of pain for the rest of their lives. I'd sat in a chair for 10 years and had held people's hands as adults who'd suffered what OUR and Tim fraudulently represented that they were fighting. It was obvious I could be manipulated because of how much I cared. I joined OUR and I was brought out to Utah for an interview. That interview consisted of Tim immediately talking about the couple's ruse. My background was not vetted. My references were not checked because the only thing that mattered to Tim was whether or not I thought I could engage in the couple's ruse. He was obsessed with it. He asked everyone else to leave the room, asked me if I was gay because I have a half-shaved head. I said no. He said, are you bi? I said yes. He was really excited to hear that because that's going to be great because when you're interacting with women in strip clubs and stuff, you'll actually be attracted to them, and that's great. The entire perspective of Tim Ballard is through a manipulative and sexualized lens. You see narcissism and sociopathy in everything that he does because he has no empathy. The pain that you see here before you is a fraction. It's a fraction of the pain that he's caused because there are other people that aren't here that are suffering just as bad and are terrified because of the threats and manipulations he made regarding his association with the AG. And OUR knew. When I got back from an op, and all of my story is detailed in an art article released by Vice only a few days ago, when I got back from that op in the British Virgin Islands, I called Matt Osborne, and I had a long conversation with Matt Osborne, who was the Director of International Operations of OUR at the time, and I detailed for him every concern that I had from Tim Ballard's obvious mental health problems, the couple's ruse and his obsession with it, evidence mishandling, the extremely dangerous situations that he put us in. There was no accountability. Matt Osborne immediately acknowledged that there was some awareness that all of this was taking place. He was not surprised to hear it. He said others had called him and told him the same thing over the last few years. He said, oh, I'm going to have him, I'm going to call Brad Damon and we're going to have a meeting with Tim and see what happens. What happened was I got a threatening phone call from Tim the week later asking if I had betrayed him and that I should be careful. And I told him, well, Tim, I think trying to help you and your organization is not a betrayal, and I think you need to get mental health help. And of course, none of that happened. My injury followed that because still at that point, I believed that OUR was what they represented themselves to be. Sure, they defrauded all of us. They defrauded multi-million dollar donors, right? Still, people are donating to OUR because they believe that OUR does what they say they're going to do. But they're not rescuing children. They're making a morality play for money and for donations, and they're using videos of us and, uh, and other f fake operations like the training where I was injured. And there's a video. I believe you've been provided with the video. There are many videos of everything that we've done because the whole point of it was so that Tim and OUR could extract donations for people using this footage. And as a result of that training, I was badly injured, close head injury. This is not bone anymore. This is silicone and titanium implant. And I wake up every morning with fluid buildup. I have no peripheral vision. It's all double vision. And I will live with this for the rest of my life. My daughter has a panic attack every time I need to leave town because she thinks mom is going to come home concussed and unable to think and unable to function and, and need surgery. I had bone fragments adhered to my facial nerve and my whole side of my face was numb for, for weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, and I still suffer some numbness. So this is just another example of that, the negligent behavior of OUR and how that negligent behavior is actively harming people because there were over 60 people at that training Again, no background checks, no vetting. In order to get into the training, we had to re watch Operation Toussaint 
and write a statement about how much it meant to us. Right? This is a we had to prove our don our prove our ability to be fully in the cause before we could move forward. And that's it. That's all they needed to know from us. And this is dangerous and it's harmful and it's devastating. And it's Tim and it and, and OUR because OUR has taken no accountability and has facilitated actively and knowingly everything that Tim did. 